Joining the conversation after a stinging DOJ report that revealed years of systemic discrimination towards African-American citizens from the Baltimore Police Department, the police union is now speaking out about the change officers want to see. WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett sat down with the FOP's president to find out what his recommendations are. Avajoy? Denise, good evening. The FOP's president told me they're looking out for the best interests of police officers and members of the community, and that goal was reflected in the letter to the DOJ. A long list of suggestions from the Fraternal Order of Police to the DOJ admitted a cultural change is necessary within Baltimore police, and that would require long-term sustained and focused training to offset decades of indoctrination by past failed policies. The letter suggested evidence of rogue supervisors. Officers complained they were given direct orders and pressured to continue practices that the DOJ said were problematic and possibly unconstitutional. The FOP also told WJZ the department is understaffed and officers overworked. And if our officers are out there and they can't safely function themselves, how can they safely and appropriately protect the citizens of Baltimore? Now, despite the FOP's recommendations to improve the Baltimore City Police Department, one community advocate says it doesn't go far enough. So the consent decree... Saying the FOP should welcome more community so input. There has to be civilian involvement from every aspect of the training and policy and uh, structural changes that they need to have that type of civilian input. The FOP says its recommendation will improve morale and performance. We got to get back to where this is a, a profession to be proud of and a career you want to stay in for 25 plus years. Now, the Baltimore Police Department told WJZ they welcome input from individual members of the community and organizations as they finalize their consent decree. Reporting live at the FOP, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Avajoy. The court ordered consent decree that Baltimore Police is legally obligated to follow should be complete by November.